All right, it seems that my lot in life is to uh, try to point out uh, racism whenever possible in the clearest fashion. Uh, as far as I know, Yashu Ben Yosef is probably of Ethiopian descent. They're probably the easiest ones to trace as far as their lineage uh, to being Hebrew. Now, that doesn't mean that, that there are no... Uh, other colors that aren't Hebrew as well. I just watched this really beautiful um, video that was sent to me by a friend that uh, uh, in some cases he's kind of being pro-white but I wouldn't consider him a racist but he sent me something on uh, the Native American gentleman is from I believe the videos from 1986 and it talks about the history of the world and the four colors and how they've been separated and how they need to be united which is the same tale as, you know, the tale of Babel, or the Tower of Babel that the UN's trying to create. Please listen, there is no pure race, there is no chosen people. We are all sons of God, or, or sons of earth, however you want to word it, whoever, you know, if you're not religious. Um, let me also point out very clearly, if you've looked at haplogroups and you, you look you know, at all this DNA testing, there's two different white races. Okay, one has Neanderthal blood in it. Um, I'm not bringing this up to separate whites or, or separate any other color. I just am trying to explain to you that uh, any, anybody that teaches you that you are the pure race, okay, is a separatist who is trying to bring in hatred. Okay, it's okay to have a different culture, but you can't say that your culture is the culture because that means you're, you're literally a virus on this earth. Um, <clears throat> Christ preached love. Okay, he didn't say uh, hate blacks or hate whitey or hate uh, Mexicans or hate Asians. Okay, Christ spoke about uh, what they call agape love or all-encompassing love. So uh, it's cool to be proud of who you are. And you know, I've made videos on this. They don't get a lot of hits because people don't want to deal with reality. Um, to, to find the Hebrew race, okay, even if, even if you have the oldest Torah in the world, okay, and your guy, your, your guy is Solomon, okay? Solomon slept with 350 concubines and your race uh, is impure. I can sit here all day long and, and dissect the Bible and show you that most of the way you reference these things uh, is highly questionable. It's, just, it's the same way I look at science. You guys, everybody plays around with data just like they play, they play around with scripture. Uh, you need to wake the F up, okay? You're not the chosen race. There is no chosen race. As long as we keep thinking that there is somewhere out here, there's somebody that's better than another person, we're going to have war, okay, and we're going to have hatred. This is what they use. The royal families of all colors get along. The masses are what they manipulate, okay. People have wars, a lot of people have wars, but I'll tell you, the royal families seem to stay around. And uh, that goes for black royal families as well as whites and, and Asians. Uh, people need to wake up to the truth, okay? Uh, religion is, is not spiritual, okay? If you are a spiritual person, you will find spiritualness within religion. And if you truly keep going, you'll end up out of your religion and into all religions. Uh, I had to make this video because it's just uh, people that I talk to uh, that seem wonderful, you know, at some point or another, the indoctrination catches a hold of them. Uh, and you're going to find yourself with a sword cutting some poor kid's head off because, you know, you're the pure race and God told you to do it. There, we don't need war. We need to get the fuck off the planet. Okay, there's too many of us. We all need to get together and we need to get off the planet, not kill each other. Uh, you know, we're all waiting for the Messiah. The Messiah is not here for just blacks. He's not here for just whites. Okay, y yes, the white Jesus is, a, is, a, is being framed. I, if you do your research, you can even find who the picture is of. It's you know, it's um, some some guy. I don't know if it was France or England, but they, they show you who you know who the guy was. You know, with his head, you know, dressed in like 18th century clothes and stuff. 
it's all out there if you do your research but if you just get stuck in one book you can't see the whole picture okay don't 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 hate whitey you know what I'm saying I, I looked at this video right now and it's like I've had some really great conversations with this individual and I'm just thinking to myself I'm white you know I'm not all white I mean I have Latin and, and, and Indian in me but I'm predominantly white and I don't I don't hate anybody I'm not trying to sell anybody disinformation or disinfo I'm, I'm just trying to be a good person and if you if you even have a slight a little piece of you inside yourself that says I'm better than somebody you're working for the devil and if you're atheist you know you're working for an evil moral value that that maybe you can't even see because you're locked in indoctrination however you want to look at it um, we need to separate ourselves from dogma which is indoctrination uh, idolization all these things that that bring down the human race the human race is one race okay you're we're, we're you know there's there's different kinds of ducks but they're all ducks there's different kinds of fish but they're all fish you know we need to stop all the bullshit because we're killing this earth we are killing it and in turn we will kill ourselves now to say that all the greedy men in the world are white would be very absurd you know I'm, I'm pretty you know I'm pretty sure that if I had to go into the books I can find every single race in this world that they are corrupt all of us are corrupt in some way or fashion and that's really what we need to get a hold of the the um, you know looking at the the wheats and the tars okay looking at these different um, things that they have in the Bible for these you know that we can compare the wheats and the tars mean that there's people that are black white Asian or 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 you know brown that look good but aren't it's it's actually all the races have with inside themselves the evil and it's to separate the good from the evil the wheat from the chaff you know the cream from the milk we need to stop the evil people because they're working together and they don't give a fuck about you okay there are no chosen people stop it just stop it until you get past your color and your indoctrination you cannot help this world you're not going to help the human race and they're going to use you uh, <clears throat> you know you can't just look at the first level of this kind of shit this shit is all religions have been devised to keep us apart and that's not true I mean Buddhism in some sense is if you're a true Buddhist you know but they're all religions you know there, there's I pray to something that I, I don't know and I don't see I can just feel so I'm not gonna put a head of lettuce somewhere I'm just not into all the idolatry and sacrifice all that kind of stuff the only sacrifice I do is is in heart to change and that's what this is about It's about changing your heart so that you love everybody you're not gonna go anywhere okay if you if 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 you are the chosen person in this world you still are gonna have to have love and compassion for me being white or being Mexican or being Indian you know you you don't get lost in the deception man that's what this is all about they're trying to take away what you really are and that's a huge not even a human being you're a being on earth um, I'm about to get the uh, Black's Legal Dictionary because there's a couple things that, uh, I, man, I, I, oh, I'm just waiting to get ready. I'm waiting on some, some money to take care of this business and start putting out some videos where I can show you contrasts of reality because that's what you need to look at, the, the contrasts of reality. There are people from every single race that are pure and good. Okay, I don't want to hear all this crap about, you know, uh, original sin, okay? There are people that live their life good, and most of most of those people only become evil because of evil people and, and getting beat up and ridiculed and and harassed. And uh, as long as one of us, any single one of us, is chained, none of us are free. And until every single one of us understands that we're all together, that doesn't mean we have to merge all our cultures. We just need to be good people. Again, I've you know I've made a lot of videos on this. I appreciate everybody's culture. I love different kinds of food.
different ideas. I, you know, it would be so boring if we weren't a little different. Don't get it twisted and, and fall into, you know, I'm superior than somebody else. Because in the end, no matter what you say, the indoctrination of superiority saying that you are chosen is, is evil. It is an evil thing to even utter or even to think. Much love to you guys. Uh, I really disdain racism. Um, I have a background to where uh, people around me were racist. And I have, I have been racist at times. Um, I could tell you terrible stories about my childhood where I got the shit beat out of me all the time by different races because I was white. And you know what? To this day, I have no animosity towards them. I didn't have it even, even after they hurt me. I did not have animosity towards them. And that's my point to you is that if you get clouded in color or deception, you're not going to see the reality of what love truly is. And that's over, overcoming this, this earth, overcoming your inadequacies, your, the things that make you fall short. And until you can truly go through, sometimes it takes severe pain and anguish to understand that everybody's everybody and we all need to be good to each other. This is Covenant of Love, man. I want you to have a great